Downtown Brownsville has more than just little shops. It's home to some of the most historic houses in South Texas, including one close to its original state from 1912. Our Marlene Rodriguez takes us back. If you look at the architecture of this house, it's dramatic. Uh, and it pretty well bespeaks what was going on at the turn of the century. The century-old young house was built at a time when Brownsville was growing at a rapid pace, and its historical beauty and significance can be seen through the inside and out. It's, it's hard to maintain it, and to preserve something like this shows a classic period of architecture, shows a, uh, an era of society uh, that uh, we should never lose sight of. The three-story young house features classic interior architecture from the early 1900s, including fireplaces, chimneys, staircases, windows, and original oak wood that the notable young family fashioned, and an attic where family members were able to witness scenes from the Mexican Revolution through the window. John Young was a larger-than-life figure by far. A lot of his life and his family is written into the pages of history for South Texas. Young was a wealthy rancher and landowner who controlled many acres in the Upper Valley. He had the house built in 1912, but he reportedly died in 1913, one year after its completion. He was survived by his wife, Alberta Young, and daughter, Sarah Young Fernandez. The house remained in the Young family until the 1950s, which is just one of the pioneer families that settled in present-day downtown. All of the great families that, that founded South Texas lived in Brownsville. Because of its promising future years ago, and the site of the Young House today serves as a reminder of the importance of preservation. In Brownsville, Marlene Rodriguez, KVEO, News Center 23. The historic Young House is now home to the office of the Brownsville Community Improvement Corporation.